Hello everyone, I am Brahma Nidhi and in today's topic I will discuss about the optimization of the box library. So before starting this session, let me give you a short intro about our company that who we are and what we do. So we are the authorized reseller of SolidWorks in North India and we have 15 years of experience in design services. Also we used to provide this solution and support to our customers in several industry verticals. So I'm working in TechSavvy as an application engineer since three years. So in today's topic, I will discuss that how easily you can modify and customize your own toolbox as per your company standards. So in today's agenda, I will cover this topic. What is toolbox, location for the configuration, how you can assign your custom properties in Toolbox library. Also, how you can customize your own hardware and export and import in Excel sheet. I will also let you know that how manually you can update your Toolbox part into a normal part. And at last, I will create a design table and link it with configuration publisher to make it familiar Toolbox. So first, you will know that what is toolbox. So when we used to work over the conventional machine or any PM machine like CNC, we used to tighten our workpiece like uh, any workpiece with the uh, uh, spanner or bolt screws. Same in SolidWorks toolbox, there are standard library of parts which is integrated inside SOLIDWORKS and you can easily drag and drop them in SOLIDWORKS assembly and customize your data as per your requirement. But these add-ins are available in professional and premium mode. So now I will show you how you can configure your toolbox from different locations. Like from Windows Start menu, type Toolbox Settings. Here you will get the Toolbox Settings 2020 database. You can directly open it or with Run as Administrator also you can access Toolbox Settings. Also, you can go to Toolbox Task and this, get this standard library of parts with different standards. Okay. Now moving to the next slide. It is assigning custom properties in library. So now I will show you that how easily you can assign your custom properties in toolbox library with your own standard format like manufacturer, ordering information or component cost or other any you know, modification that you have to do in the toolbox library configuration, okay? So now I will show you, I have already created actually a toolbox folder here. In toolbox part, here you can see, uh, I have created a custom bolt and winter ID, um, which I have inserted here with name, custom bolt, and added a material. You can also define your material as per your requirement, okay? And uh, if your vendor has uh, sent you uh, any standard ID that you also you can insert or other uh, specifications which you want to add, okay? Another thing which is color, so you can add color also in your toolbox partners according to your requirement and uh, then save it. Okay. Now I will show you in the uh, SOLIDWORKS window on assembly level. Okay. Open the assembly and drag the Drag this data which I have customized. Okay. 
okay now uh, you can see that uh, the custom properties have reflected here this configuration name custom board vendor id okay same you can do at your end now moving to the next slide customizing the hardware so for if for your company standard you can specify the sizes of your fastener length also and free data with whatever the specification you want to add you can add the toolbox library and also you can import and export the data using excel sheet okay Well, let me show you this. So, suppose I have to configure in uh, toolbox configuration. Okay, let's configure here. Suppose I want to configure this counter bolt. I have. I need to add sizes. Let's go. One by three. Which would be fifteen. Diameter should be zero point three one four five. Width diameter zero point two five zero two. Okay. Head height zero point two five zero. Head angle eighty three. Slot width zero point one. Four five okay. Zero slot depth zero point two two five and finish with slot slot or no slot okay. Click okay. You can see that. Uh, The specification has reflected here, and you will save it. When you will open the assembly, your specified sizes would reflect in the toolbox. Okay, toolbox configuration. But always keep remember whenever you are going to insert new size or length or thread display any data, then always keep remember that you have don't have to insert integer value like minus two minus one. If you will do that, then it won't reflect. Your data would not be customized. Okay, because it does not allow the integer value. Okay, so always keep remember you don't have to uh, insert the integer value. Okay, now let me show you how easily you can export and import data. I will create a folder, data sheet. Okay. And now I I will export this. This is one more thing you have to keep remember. Uh, while exporting the data, sometimes you will not uh, will not get uh, the uh, exported data or imported data. So for that, what you need to do is if you have uh, Old version of Microsoft Excel sheet, then you need to update in Microsoft Excel 2012, 15 or 17 version. Then only you can export and import the data. Okay. So now let's see uh, that um, the data which I have exported here. Yeah. It has been reflected here the description, which I had uh, inserted already. You can also insert part number and comment. And now you can see that the data which I had imported are reflected here with description. Also, you add a uh, part number and comment you want to add. You can add and click on save. Then it would reflect the data, the all the data specified as per your Complete standard, and it will really reduce your time. As you uh, you used to uh, save your toolbox part individually with description, part number, comment. Okay. 
So moving to the next slide, which is uh, convert the full box part into normal part. So have ever you wondered that whenever you're saving your full box part, it appears so the full box flag icon. Right. So always you need to remember that if you have to uh, remove the flag of the icon of full box, then you have to follow a procedure. Okay. So what you need to do is you go to full box part. So this is window. Open the part level template. Now drag some toolbox partners here like this. Mostly what we do uh, is to save the document date of data like heavy gold finish gold. I will not take this data because but I take another some things like this. Okay, okay. I'll save this on the index of name square let's go. Okay. Now this all goes window. And now I will go to C drive, program file, folder for folder, toolbox, uh, data utility, SLD set, DOC, DRC, DOC. So you have to keep remember that always uh, use to insert or update your toolbox part in this extension. SLD set, DOC, DROC. Okay, not in database converter. That is to convert this database, there is another method. Okay. So, run as an admin. Update this property state now. Add that file which you have saved as a part. And then, uh, you can also see here these two selected property here. So, with uh, the user official desktop search. Okay. And update this status and close it. Now let's see. The flag icon has been removed. Open part. Okay. Now you can see the uh, two box flag icon has been removed. So if uh, sometimes your colleague has given you a uh, Assembly and you are facing some incorrect toolbox sizes. It may be because of uh, not upgraded or toolbox data, old toolbox data. So, what you need to do is if you will manually update the toolbox which, in which you are getting the incorrect size, so it, it won't give you the error of uh, incorrect toolbox size. Okay. You know, that really is the best method to avoid the incorrect size of mm, toolbox fasteners for a time or for a day. Also, what you can do that if you are uh, in your company, there are multiple users and uh, they are using the same uh, common toolbox data. So you can create a folder on server and then link the toolbox data of any one of the users and link uh, with on from this location option system option all these are toolbox okay so this is the second method to avoid the incorrect toolbox size in future and the third method i will let you know at the last at the end of the session okay Now moving to the next slide, which is link to configuration publisher. Now I will show you 
how you can create a design table and link with configuration publisher and to make all men familiar to that. Go to Firefox toolbox. This is my customized board. So now I will insert that uh, design table here. So design table, with design table you can create configuration manually or simultaneously uh, with embedded action kit. So I will create the design table with auto create option. Here I have uh, taken a uh, standard bolder specification. Now I will copy this in SolidWorks. Okay. And now, uh, in this, I will add my own customized toolbox data specification also. Gradually, uh, you have to do it. This is the height from the scale. Okay. Bolt depth is 0 6.4, 0 0.15 is the washer thickness. Okay. 0 0.4. Uh, Zero point two thickness of okay. seventeen here, twenty thirty point five feet height, bold seventeen, ten meter, okay, eight point five feet here. I will add them here. Okay, so here uh, my uh, specified data has been reflected. And now I will create. First, let me show you that you can see that all these specifications of M cells has been inserted yeah. okay so like that this configuration has been created with the same table easily now i will link it with configuration publisher so configuration publisher what it does say it add all the properties uh, that if you add it once in uh, uh, a configuration publisher. Like, uh, have you used uh, ever a uh, property tabulator? In that, what do you, um, you used to do that? Uh, you used to add a property of your company standard in assembly part, and automatically it will fill the properties in your assembly part drawing development level. Same here with the configuration publisher. Once you have inserted the configuration in design table, then all the properties would reflect in your assembly. Like uh, so I've given an example here size. Okay. Uh, you can also see the preview here, all the size has been added. 
part number okay and apply and close it then uh, you can save it wait now when open the assembly okay direct now i will show you you can add this toolbox folder here Uh, I will add a new this new folder name here. Uh, that file which I have saved with the design table, and add that file. Let's see. For one thing, let me change the location. Here it is in this folder. Let's go. Okay, I have saved it here. Alt uh, close it. Okay, new folder. Add that file. From the start. Save here. Part four one two. Open. Okay. If I have saved that, if you want to add custom properties or any other property, you can add. Now I will show you. Or in what screen? New folder has been added. With part four one two. All the configuration has been reflected here. Click OK. Your customized data is ready to insert in our assembly. Okay. If you want to make a familiar toolbox, you can take an example of both components. But first, you need to see that uh, your Component is fixed. If it's fixed, then you need to close. Click on close. Okay, and click move component. Redress. Okay, redress. Then again, I will drag another toolbox. Another uh, size. Empty. Then I will take move component and change the orientation with XYZ position. Like I have to add 45 direction. So I did not select 50 places. Let me show you again. Suppose, oh, first thing is that your component is fixed or closed. It is floated. Okay. Now change the orientation here. Let's go. Move component. Suppose we are to be uh, in X shape. So we are going to put in 5. Okay. 45 applies. So again, let me try another one. Controlation with another size and 14. Move component, select the press, okay. 
position. Okay. Like this, you have created a familiar symbol. Okay. So I hope that you have understood that how to you can easily create your customized toolbox according to your specified standard sizes. Okay. Uh, the third method which I said that I will discuss in the uh, in session. Uh, so uh, the third method is whenever you are trying to upgrade your SolidWorks from older to newer version, always take a backup of your SOLIDWORKS toolbox data or whenever you are trying to customize your toolbox data, okay, always take a backup for that also of your toolbox because you always uh, use to customize your toolbox. So it would avoid from uh, to loss your data. Okay. So, Whenever you are trying to upgrade your toolbox from uh, older version to newer version, take a toolbox backup and always select the option to create a copy of existing toolbox, which you will get while uh, upgrading your toolbox. There, uh, there would be two options to create the toolbox newly or the another option to create a copy of your existing toolbox that would avoid to get the error of incorrect size of toolbox. So thank you. Uh, you can call to our hotline number for any query or uh, 839 Also, mail, mail me on uh, radha at the rate tixavi.co.in and also please follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, or Twitter. Thank you.